Hi, I'm Isa, and I'm going to be talking to you today about SkyDrive, what is integrated into the new Office 365. We have given this an off but difficulty rating of three stars. One good thing with SkyDrive is all built into Office 365, so I only have to log in once. And if I just click on the SkyDrive button, I'm straight there. Another good thing with SkyDrive being built into Office 365, um, I can share my documents onto Newsfeed and other team sites. First of all, I'm going to show you how to add a new document to SkyDrive. On the new Office 365 on SkyDrive, there is a drag and drop option, but it's too hard to show you right now because I'm on a touchscreen device, so I'm just going to click the blow bus. Um, what you do, because I want to upload a document, I go down to the bottom near new folder and it should say in capital letters, upload existing file. I'm going to browse for the file I want. So you click on files and you go to pictures, music, videos, so I'm going to go for pictures and click camera roll and then I'm just going to upload this picture to show you how, to, how it's done. So open, press OK, wait for it to load and you see it is added and it says when I add it just a few seconds ago. Next I'm going to show you how to create a document on SkyDrive. One of the benefits of having SkyDrive in Office 365 I can create my documents from a click of a button. So basically I press the blue plus up on the left side and I you can choose which one you want but I'm going to make a Word document. So I'm going to call it what I want, I'm going to call it me too. The good thing about this is it's exactly the same as creating a document at home on your PC. But the good thing about it, it's in the cloud. And you can get it from any platform, any device. Next I'm going to show you how to open and download a document in SkyDrive. Um, it's nice and easy to open a document on SkyDrive. You just basically click on the one you want. But if you want to download a copy, you have to go to three little dots next to it. And then click on the three little dots again. And then go down there and click download a copy. By clicking download a copy, it will save your local hard drive. I'm finally going to show you how to share your documents with your friends and teachers. Alright, sharing a document couldn't be any easier on Office 365 SkyDrive because all my contacts are built in. So first, you click on the three little dots and then click the share button at the bottom. Um, and I'm going to share this with my teacher who's got a really stupid name and it's quite long. So if I just type in Mr and it comes up already, Mr Weeprep, and include a message, I could say... Here's my home work. And then share. And Mr. Weepert will get a message that I want to share this with him. Having SkyDrive built into Office 365 is one of the massive benefits of Wave 15. The fact that everything's there, and as soon as they've logged in, they can access SkyDrive without having to log into something else makes the integration a massive, massive selling point. The first big benefit for me is that they can share a document with me instantly and it's all built in. So they can just click on their share button and it will send me a message telling me that a student shared their work with me. This could be homework or a project or just something interesting that they found that they want to tell me about.
The final big benefit for me is that some of the devices we use even in school don't have Office installed on them. Rather than them having huge problems or compatibility issues later down the line, I can just ask them to create the document in Office 365. That way, everyone has access to exactly the same programs, exactly the same software and exactly the same opportunities. Today I've shown you how to add a document in SkyDrive, create a document in SkyDrive, download a document in SkyDrive and share a document in SkyDrive. Thank you for watching my first off vid and I hope to see you soon.